was talking about how deep it is and the, the amount of guard you have, the talent. What have you seen from the group so far? I just I just seen, see hardworking guys. I mean, every day, you know, we got guys that get up and go to work. Just, and I like it. I love it. So that's what I see. What have you been trying to work on particularly in your game? I mean, obviously, everyone points to the defense yeah, and whatever it might be. Right. What, is that kind of what you're targeting right now? Well, just, uh, yeah, basically defending and uh, becoming consistent with my uh, jump shot. That's, a, that's about it. Defending and uh, being consistent with my jump shot. Make consistent threes. That's about it. Do you feel like you made some strides last year? I mean, because early in the year you get in foul trouble right. a lot. Late in the season, you didn't. That wasn't right. as much of a problem to you. Did you feel like you already kind of started right. to make that improvement? Yeah, definitely. I uh, even coach uh, noticed it, and he uh, said some things about it. So I think I'm getting pretty good with it. What can you guys do to reduce line ball turnovers? Uh, that's just it. Just come down to uh, I mean, protecting the ball. You know. Just, I feel like we'll be a whole lot better with it this year, uh, being that we got some great guards, you know. So. What have you seen from guards and, and ball handling out during practice so far? Well, we, I mean, we work on it every day. Every Before practice, we got a little ball handling we do and shooting drill we do. So, I mean, I, I feel like it'll, it'll play a part in We didn't do it last year. So I feel like it had a prayer part in uh, this upcoming season. You mean you didn't work on it before practice? No, not at all. No, sir. What have you learned from Markel being around him in preseason? That's my guy. That's, uh, we, uh, I learned a lot from him, you know, on the defensive end. And we help each other. Like, we learned. That's, that's how the, uh, basically how the guards is this year. You know, we learn from each other. Even uh, Devontae, you know, him being the youngest, I learned from him. And, you know, of course, he, he learned from me, you know. We just learn from each other, pretty much. Dominic, for you, your first year back after sitting out last year, just how much are you looking forward to playing and playing the SEC? Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. It's been, it's been a long time since I played games, so I'm really looking forward to that first game, and I'm, I cannot really like wait any much more. So, I'm, and I'm happy about where I am. Like, I love our team, our environment, like our team chemistry. I just couldn't imagine better place to be in. Start first game after that one year break when the season. What, what did you use the, the year off to, to work on? Uh, I mean, I have a great situation because I've been around Sebas and he's one of the biggest, uh, the the best big guys in the history of the school. So even like, uh, even honor like for me, I could be around him, go against him every day in the practice. Even though when I was scouting or whatever, whatever I had the chance to just look for him and then see. So I for sure uh, learned a few things from him. But I've been working a lot on in in the weight room with Coach Turner. So and then individual workouts with uh, other coaches. So I've been just improving my game by step by step. Whatever coaches want me to improve on, I'm trusting him. Like. I know he wants me to do the best as possible. So whatever coach seeing me, I need to improve. He's telling me we talk about it, then I'm going on the court and trying to improve that area. What are, what are the areas you feel like you need to improve in? What do you, what do you think the strengths of your game? I are? think I need to slow down the game a little bit for me. Like I'm trying to speed, uh, I'm speeding up myself. I let defenders to speed me up, so I just need to take my time. Whatever I catch the ball in the low post, stuff like that. And beside that, I also I know there's a rule here like you can jump straight up, and it's not gonna be a foul if you jump with, with your hands straight up. So I think I need to work on that as well, so I'll be able to protect the rim better without getting the fouls. What do you feel like your strengths are right now? What do you think you do well? Right now? I think I can uh, defend pretty, defend pretty well. Like I think my my feet moves pretty, pretty good for a big guy. So we can we can contain pick and roll whatever we can switch in the last ten seconds of the action. I think I won't be able, I won't I won't have problems with guarding that guard, and also I think rebounding and also I think I'm saying like good screens trying to help my teammates get open. I think the guys like to play with me because the guards really have a lot of space after that screen and either it's pass or either it's open shot for one of our guards. It's the same question every year, but both don't answer this. As far as the NCAA tournament, is there like a renewed confidence, especially for you, Terrence? I mean, looking at this roster compared to last year, and knowing what y'all added, I mean, do y'all feel like y'all are better equipped to make a run? I believe so. That's a that's a that's all the guards was what we talk about every day, like every day, single day. We talk about just the tournament, how better of a season it's gonna be. So.
that's definitely a goal in, with this team. Do you see this as an NCAA tournament team, Dom? I mean, uh, I've, where I was playing before, we won like six games during the season. So just coming here, comparing to where I was, it's already like big, big improvement. So I feel we have a really good group. Like I'd never play SEC game, but I feel we've, we've been looking good uh, comparing to the other SEC teams. So mm -hmm. for sure, yeah. You, you mentioned Sebas and, and everything he accomplished here. Do you, going into this, do, do you feel pressure on yourself? Do you have to fight putting too much pressure on yourself? To, mm, to not really. I'm just I'm just gonna be myself. I mean, nobody's trying to replace Sebas here. Of course, we're gonna do as best as possible because it's a we're missing that spot in the roster. But we got really good guys, and everybody has different skill set, and we're just trying to do our best and just be ourselves. Nobody trying to be like. To specific do things which Sibas was doing, of course, like rebounding and all that stuff. It's it's natural for a big man, but beside that, not really. What, you mentioned watching him last year. And yeah. Something. What, what did you learn watching him last year? I learned like how to how he get to his right hook, like how wide his base is. Like he 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 was be he was able to move pretty much everybody he play against. So that's when I came here. My my base was like narrow and it was easy to move me when I was going to my hook. So. That was pretty much, it seems like nothing, but it's really big step for me. Like, I feel that when I'm playing. Any questions for these guys? How much, how much different is, I guess, the athleticism caliber player here than it was when you played? A lot, there? a lot. Yeah, you got to be much more aware. The game is much more fastest, and you just got to adjust to it, you know? And I think this year, when I was senior, I have a lot of time to adjust to it, so. I, I, I think I'm going to be ready for it. Terrence, when you practice, is the level of athleticism more noticeable in the backcourt with you guys this year? Can you repeat that again? Sorry. Is the level of like athletes you guys have this year, is it more noticeable? Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. I think you'll see a first game that how athletic we is. And the wings, the guard, even the point guards. Like, we just so much at, more athletic this year. You'll see a first game. I, I think so. Do you feel like you guys will push the pace more with Definitely. Definitely.